Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to vlog 008. On our way to Paris, France. Enjoy your flight. I'm kidding, guys. I'm not gonna like. I'll spare you the vlogging in the airplane stuff. So I see you in Paris in like a second. Let me just clean the screen here. Good morning everyone from lovely Paris, guys. We have arrived yesterday, but it was so late that, yeah, I didn't want to come in here. I just want to relax. Someone has arrived from the gym. I didn't. I was just sleeping. I'm kind of getting ready. We're heading for breakfast first. And then I have to show you this hotel, my shopping, because I did some online shopping that already arrived it's not going to be a proper unboxing because i did that last night with my mom so my mom and my father my parents they are here in paris too we're staying together in paris and then the next destination and after that just me and my husband are traveling so when they are going somewhere else i'll let you know everything like in a moment i'm just gonna maybe wear something that i bought I'm gonna show you that now. First item, I'm rushing because we don't want to miss breakfast. I love the breakfast at this hotel. I'll let you know after all about it. So I'm not late. So first item is this Jean Vito Rossi Foodies. I'm loving it. Remember that I wanted something like this? I got it. So this is my first purchase so i've been wanting this for a while but it wasn't like i couldn't find it in brazil and then i found it with a little bit of discount here my size not here but at on farfetch when i was coming here my size with a little bit of discount so i'm gonna link that below very comfortable but i let you know after i walked so the funny thing is that I thought this was leather here. This is not leather. It feels like a neoprene. And then here's leather and here's leather. But it's really, really, really comfortable. And um, yeah, this is rubber. This is my first outfit here. So it's a little bit chilly in Paris. It was not what I wanted, but I already knew. Um, at least Paris is the coldest city we'll get here in the street. So I'm wearing offered tights, the new boots. So this skirt, this is something from my mom's from the 80s. She just told me because I went for breakfast and came back. And now I'm talking to you guys with a little more calm because breakfast was about to get closed and i'll show you breakfast tomorrow but yeah so i already met my mom she said oh my god this was for my 80s so she gave me this a while ago she didn't remember it i didn't remember it and then i was organizing my closet before the strip and i found this this and the jacket so this is vintage skada and i don't think i'm gonna carry maybe i will <laughs> I put the jacket here today yeah it just works doesn't it and the skirt funny thing is i'm exactly her size like the size she was i didn't have to fix it or anything how amazing so yeah this is and then this is just a, like a cashmere t-shirt so yeah i think i'm gonna carry my birkin just because it matches Ah, so guys, it's already messy. You know, we arrived very light last, last night and I didn't want to roam through a while like with the rear lights, like without natural light. And now today is like first day, I just want to go out. So I'll do this tomorrow. We'll start with what I got. So you've seen the shoes, the boots I got. I have two bags to show you. It's not what you expect. It's not what you expect. So one thing that's bothered me if you follow me on instagram or if you check the vlogs i've been having like so many weddings 
And one thing that pisses me is that I never buy evening bags. Never, ever. And I always have to like borrow it from my mom. But my mom doesn't live in the same city as I, so it's a nightmare. I have to plan ahead. And I'm not someone who plans outfits ahead. So what I did, I got two bags that matches two dresses that I wear this trip. So after Paris, we're going to Florence, Firenze, where we will attend a wedding in this, like two gala parties. And I got one bag. I have two bags to show you. Like one of the, this is very cute, what I have to show here. But what I have in my luggage, so I got it in the day that I was leaving Sao Paulo. That's why I never showed you. That one is surreal. So the first one is by Mac and Mac, or Mac and Mac. How do you say it? I don't even know where they are from. So one of my dresses is exactly this color. Like, are you? They're not like wow bags that you expected, but are you ready for the two cutest bags ever? Like, come on, guys, come on, guys. What the? hell like how cute is that how cute is that i love it so we'll see this more in my Firenze vlog florence vlog and what else did i get so remember when i got the leather pants in like off-white i got it in black but i got it a size smaller because I thought I wanted a little bit bigger, but now it's too big. So I have to see what I will do. But I got the black one in size 26. You would have seen the other color in my, one of my, the Farfetch holes video. Yeah. And then I got black jeans because I'm rebuilding my jeans collection because yeah, I need it. So black jeans from Redone. You're probably gonna see me wearing all this in the street, but I don't have time to try it on. So yes. I also got one thing that didn't arrive. There was like some problem with the delivery. So I'm gonna ask the concierge to check this for me. And something else that I got was this like very, very oversized leather blazer but like really soft oh with this outfit i'm gonna wear like the card co-art but i love it yeah so i got this one i got it very big because the idea is i can belt it if i want it so this is medium large yeah Oh, outfit ready. I love it, guys. I don't know. I love it. Maybe I'll try to like, maybe I'll search for some Escada Vintage sets. Because if I can find more things like this, the shape is just amazing. And I actually traveled in this and uh, pants, like another pen. So they're very useful as separates too. I love it. And yeah, I think I'll carry this one. Let's go. First stop at Le Bon Marché. So I don't think it'd be a successful shopping trip. Nothing that we've seen we find it our sizes because I think new collections are coming in a month or something. So yeah, not a great time to shop. A little update, we just left Le Bon Marché, Le bon Marché and we're heading to Montaigne Avenue. I'm looking for something specific. So the Balenciaga hourglass blazer, I couldn't find it there in my size, but at least now I know my size because I like 38 it was too fitted I want like to size up and then 42 was way too big so I would get in a 40 just because I'm tall so it sits better in me 
even though my size is normally 38 so now i know my size for the hourglass if i don't find it here it doesn't matter i can shop online now um it's a little bit of like tricky when you exchange stuff in brazil and farfetch doesn't have the hourglass shipping to brazil you know i've talked about how it can be tricky to shop in brazil but yeah i'll try to find it here or even online and then i'm looking also for a pair of jimmy shoe heels like a specific one that i couldn't find there very small selection at bon marché so we're heading to mountain avenue there's a store there hopefully i can find it and then i'll show you guys i did ch check some other stuff but it's a little bit messy because it's not new collection right now it's not sale they don't have sizes it's a mess and then what my parents told me because they arrived early is that the flagship stores like the stores on the streets they are always crowded so we just need to know what we want and where because it might have a queue so yeah you know everyone's back traveling i get it and i also am so it's a busy busy some busy busy days here in paris we are like Roland Garros is happening we actually try to get tickets but it's all booked maybe we still like we're gonna try it still let's see we have champions league final tomorrow so the city is very crowded even getting a taxi it's hard but yeah we might have lunch at Levenu. we'll see very basic but you know what's just near old stars the easy way just have lunch there if not we might go to Lulu or something but we'll see I'm a little bit tired already but it's because I normally don't get jet lag but I think I am see the line for jar so this is like eight to ten people around 40 minutes to go in after lunch strolling the stars very beautiful Dolce & Gabbana store in here uh, we're gonna walk around it's like crazy crazy busy the stars just putting me off <laughs> I know I said it before so I'll try not to say the same thing again and again it's true guys it's true I was trying to find something at Courage because I've been obsessing with their collection vintage and new but you know what I think I'm too tall for them everything just look too short on me seriously dead I'm gonna give you a room tour and then we're gonna shed. I have so much to say. We are staying at Le Royal Monceau. We've been like we stayed here before. It's one of my favorites. It's not a very big room. I'm zooming you out so you can see better, but it's not a big room. Don't let it fool you. So the closet's really nice. I didn't unpack because we're leaving in a few days. So here is the closet space and then here we have we put this here but it's not here normally so it's just a living area and we got fruit some pastries champagne and then this is very nice it's a mural but with the t the tv if you want to watch it's from like you know you know the stuff like when the tv is in the mural and the bed very nice bed we had the same room last time we were at this hotel so this is the mini bar the food here is amazing both room service and breakfast and then another full mural so this is what i really love how it's very bright and has a lot of murals there are some very amazing hotels that i've stayed here but they were always too dark i don't like dark rooms and not enough murals why guys why so very nice full mural this is the outfit of the day i think i've showed you shown you guys and so this is the view it's not 
great i don't know why we got this wrong but yeah we actually booked this trip quite recently and because there's a lot of events here in paris so tomorrow is champions league and holanda hall and there's something else from the government going on so it's quite busy so i really really love this yesterday i arrived first thing i had was a bathtub and bath and here's all my stuff so we have double his and hers the shower also good the toilet and mirrors and lights everywhere so yeah i really like it so we're not doing anything like tourism and see because we've been here enough times we've been everywhere all the museums all the parks the eiffel tower and everything you can imagine we've been up like the arc of triumph everything everything so we don't have like a reason to go in anything any of these places as we've been there before and we only have two full days here in paris so the idea was just to chill restaurants and some shopping and just you know just relax the relax party part of the story and the shopping not very like not going strong for us the thing is it's not uh the start of a season as in there's not new stuff arriving at the stores and also it's not end of season it's not sale so we are in between that and there's not much left in stores of course we all heard of shortage on products and yeah like everything somehow is affected by the whole crisis in china and whatever and production everywhere it's suffering but i never thought it would be this bad so i really wanted a pair of gym shoes it sold out in europe it's not sold out because it was a huge success but as i was told it was sold out because they only had five pairs in my size in whole europe can you imagine that like five pairs of shoes in my size in whole europe so yeah quite the nightmare we've been to chanel very quick visit that's why i didn't get to vlog because there's basically nothing nothing there like nothing that i liked personally the stores feels empty with products and just full with people so we didn't had to queue in line for going in chanel but you had to queue in chanel to have uh essay attend you and it was just not enough like not good and you know not nothing very there was nothing that i like it to actually wait to for someone to help i did like a few shoes uh just regular sling bags but i don't know i'm not i like shopping but i don't i'm not obsessed with shopping to want to go through all this stuff you know weirdly like i just think like i prefer to pay a little bit more in brazil and just shop there because it's a nightmare here right now so every store is very 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 busy very busy and you don't have sizes you don't have anything i don't know i love paris paris is one of my favorite cities in the world to travel to and i like to stay here whenever i can like one week 10 days because there's so much to do what i most like about paris is the architecture i just love everything like every place i think it's beautiful and the food like all the restaurants the cafes the bars and of course shopping right because it's just all the brands that i like like they're here so 
I still love Paris. I'm not one I'm gonna say, oh, Paris is a nightmare. And it's not because I'm romanticizing this. It's just because it has everything. My favorite food is French. It just has everything that I like, okay? I really love the hotels here. So, for example, we're staying at Le Royal Monceau. The last, twi the last two times that we were here, we stayed at Le Mohis. We just walked through Le Mohis. We, you couldn't walk around it. It was so busy because it's close to the Louvre, like, and Angelina. So busy. Like, insane. You couldn't walk. You couldn't walk. Like, I, I've never seen Paris like this. I'm not trying to be snob or um, elitist or whatever. I don't, like, I'm a tourist as everyone else. But all of us decided to come at the same time, it feels. I don't know, it's, it's a nightmare. It's still a beautiful city. We still have, like, all the restaurants to go and everything. It's still lovely to walk around, but... I didn't even take a picture. I think I take one picture. You know how it's so crowded that we're just looking for the next place to go that is not as crowded. Very weird experience. Very weird experience. Uh, it's fine. It's okay. I mean, I'm just trying to explain you why this is a little weird vlog. Hopefully tomorrow we have a better day and the day after. But it's very weird. Paris is very weird. Do you have this kind of experiences here? I never been to Paris and was this crazy. Never. So yeah, I don't know. Isn't this a vibe? I think it's a vibe. Am I right or am I right? Outfit now. We have leather pants and blazer. And a basic top, my picotin. Chegou? Yes. O Palais de Tokyo, Monsieur Bleu. Uh, uh, Cardina. Bon appétit. <laughs> at the restaurants i haven't been ever to monsieur bleu so today was our first time very nice outdoor atmosphere checking out right now i'm gonna wash my face do my skincare get a good night of sleep and then tomorrow it's a new day hopefully i was tired today and maybe tomorrow i can enjoy a little bit more we'll see <laughs> 